The victim was one of the local cops, Dustin Prince. It wasn't Meekins. Uh, you know, people are always boy, saying. We'll see you another day. What's he doing at the crime scene? I'm always like, he's Dustin Prince. Uh, I didn't get that. Thank you for putting that out. I actually didn't get that. I was trying to figure it out. <laughs> I had to help. Thank you. No problem, pal. Yeah, he was pushed down from the benches on the upper path, sir. <laughs> he, uh... There's a specific protocol. We must hire people with punny names. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I... The amnesia also just took away my ability to recognize puns. That's... <laughs> that's the lore. The landing beat his body up bad and snapped his neck. Ooh. Ow! The details are listed in the report that was distributed yesterday. Ah, oh, yes. This autopsy report, correct? Please tell me it's up to date this time. Why do we not remember getting a copy? I see everything is in order here. Even the estimated time of death is unusually well documented. <laughs> I never expect that from this force. <laughs> the victim's watch up from the impact of the landing, sir. Cluck. Why Another is it cluck? always clocks? <laughs> Why is it always clocks? <laughs> Chill. <laughs> The results of the autopsy confirm the time of death. <laughs> if I may, Your Honor. The prosecution would like to submit this photograph. Okay. Very well. The court accepts it into evidence. We're learning what evidence we have. <laughs> yes, but apparently no one in this courtroom has learned the rules of evidence. <laughs> now then, I recall at yesterday's preliminary, bleh, preliminary hearing, a very important piece of evidence was brought to our attention. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, uh, I guess. There be no guessing here, Mr. Uh, White. Is your head on right today? No. Or should I say, is your head on wrong today? <laughs> yes. Maybe. Or make up your mind quick. There was a very <laughs> crucial piece of evidence found under the victim's body. Um, was there? Have you lost your mind? Yes. Well, actually, um, it's just nerves. Give me a second. What? I didn't forget how to lie, though. Mm. How can you talk like such an amateur? I thought you were a pro, sir. I was never a pro. <laughs> <laughs> Not even before this. If you defeated Von Karma, that's pro in my book. Oh. <laughs> All right, sir. I'll help you through this, because that's totally legal. At a time like this, maybe you ought to take a glance at the court record. Court record? Yep. Info about evidence and people involved with this case are all listed there, sir. You can look at the court record by pressing tab. Alrighty. You know, the tab on the, on your manila envelope. Yeah, that, that tab in my brain. Uh, tab, you know what you're talking about, don't you? Oh, it's too bad I'm a cop, right? Just think, I could totally be a legal aid instead. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Court is in session. Save your chit chat for later. Uh, so sorry, Your Honor. Well, I, I guess I'd better check the court record and see what I can find. What was it again? Tab? It literally won't let me press it yet. I've been pressing tab. All right, Mr. Wright. Let's see if your notes are in order. Oh, thank God. We'll hold your hand through this one. Okay. <laughs> it's not his cell phone, or no, he no, no. Doesn't he doesn't remember it. how it got there. It's his cell phone. We saw that from before. Okay. Oh we have the autopsy Phoenix. report. Time of death: six twenty-eight p.m. Broken neck. Body was also covered in bruises. Glasses were found under the victim's body. There for nearsightedness, and they were found nearby. They were found nearby or found under the victim's body. <laughs> Make up your mind. Pieces of the glasses Pieces. were found nearby. Oh, uh, I see. Yes, reading but, was a okay. very difficult. How reading is fun for mentals. End up under a body. This is the this is the sussy. Yeah, there's a clock here. This clock says seven o'clock. I think. I'm gonna say seven o'clock. Yeah, there's lots of people. I am legit wondering how glasses oh. end up under your body if you have fallen. Cause uh, I will be honest, I have fallen many a time, and my glasses have gone flying off my face. They always shoot you. forward. They never go under. First, imagine you don't really need the glasses unless you need to oh, see. Oh, they're something in like your breast clothes. pocket. And no, they're like in your shirt, like one yeah. of the little uh, flaps of the glasses, whatever mm. it's called. Yeah, arms. They're Didn't called say arms. it was in a pocket though. They were just found under. Oh. All right. Okay. What was the piece of evidence found underneath the victim's body? The glasses. My glasses. <laughs> That's simple, Your Honor. A broken pair of glasses, and that's because I knew it and didn't just read it now. Hmm, that's right. A plus, gold star. Oh. Victim grabbed his killer's glasses, be it shoved, sir. Oh. And held on to them as he fell. Hey, 
Hey, why are you giving me the evil eye? Those glasses you're wearing. Mm, yes, this is my spare pair. Uh, uh. But these glasses they found at the scene of the crime are not mine. I swear, sir. Are you sure about that? Because I'm not. Look, it was a coincidence that on the same day, I accidentally stepped on mine. Ah, uh, a coincidence, she says. <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> that was a lot of heh heh heh. It's all the heh heh heh. I have further evidence to present. Oh. Oh. You have more? And this evidence is very decisive. Ah. Uh, did you get that from karma, hmm? What goes around comes around, Phoenix. In this case, it's catch. <laughs> oh my god. Very well. Let's hear from our witness about this evidence. Decisive evidence. There's something even more incriminating than the glasses under the victim's body, sir. Oh. During his day, the victim was pushed from the bench area, but he managed to write the culprit's name on the ground where he landed. How do people blood? have the time and brain power to huh. figure this out as they're dying? I don't like saying it, but it was clearly the defendant's name Maggie, sir. You're telling me that this man snapped his mother neck and wrote Maggie in the sand? That's no, what you're telling me? that is what I'm saying! That's what you're telling me? Out of all the ways to die. With such perfect handwriting for someone literally dying. Yeah, yeah there's no, no with, blood, with he's not bleeding out, and he well. snapped his neck. I'm sorry, that's like insta-death, there's all right. nothing. Alright, to be fair. Yeah, that's literally insta-death. Has anyone ever tried writing something right as they're dying? It depends because on I how you're dying. Bleeding out, at least understandable, you know? Snapping your neck? No. I would assume it would take zero seconds. And if it were to take 0.1 seconds, that would surprise me. <laughs> and even so, <laughs> would they even be cognizant <laughs> enough, have the motor function no. to perfectly to, spell out their name? To like, bring come on. some anatomy into this, if your neck is broken, that's where your spinal cord is, that's where receptors are being sent out, all those impulses are being sent to the muscle fibers to move your body. If your neck is snapped, they cannot make those connections. Paralyzed, and you won't at be very able least. To do you at Hold least, on. at the very least. <laughs> okay. That's why back and neck injuries are um, so dangerous. Terrible, horrifying. Right. I apologize for this liberal. Oh my but god. But the way I was raised, liberal. if your arm wants to write something, your arm doesn't need the brain. <laughs> you just do it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and trust me, neuroanatomy beat it into me enough to know that answer is no. <laughs> Built different. Listen, as a kid, I was living proof. You didn't need a brain to be able to move around and oh do things, Oh my god. Okay? <laughs> I mean, if you want to call yourself out, be my guest. I wasn't a person until like 11th grade. With this piece of evidence of glasses, it's hard not to say she's the culprit. Like, look, I'm just minding my but She's the culprit. See? Oh my it just god. comes out. Jesus. This is a picture of the writing, Your Honor. His eyes. Okay, I think it's just a shadow on the pointer finger, but I'm still wondering why one part of the finger is darker than the other. I think it's just it's a just shadow. It's just a shadow. Though. It's like a it's supposed to show it's bent. Here comes the overthinking Mars. <laughs> why? This is Yes. I can see her name is clearly written here. Yeah, suspiciously clearly written. The prosecution would like to submit this picture. Understood. The court accepts it into evidence. As if the glasses alone didn't make you look suspicious. Hey. The victim even wrote your name clear on the ground as clear as day. Was the name in the first picture? No. How were his arms positioned in the first we'll picture? We'll have to check. Compared to the second. Oh, that's, oh, that's gonna drive me nuts now. Okay, I can oh, check. But I already told you, those glasses aren't mine! No, his hand is there. This is probably where it says Maggie right here. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. It's like squiggies and his finger is pointy like that. I just wanted to be sure. Yep, yeah, no, man, no, makes sense. No, but squiggies, Your Honor. And, and how do you explain his dying message? It's a conspiracy! I'm not guilty, sir! Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Press everything! Cross-examine? I don't know the meaning of the word. This is it! I'm counting on you! Uh, sure, but what am I supposed to do? <laughs> what?! This isn't like you at all! It's like I got hit over the head or something! Normally, this is the part where you get in the witnesses' faces! Get in their faces and do what exactly? I guess there's no way around it! Okay, I'm going to lend you a hand! Is this legal? Again, totally legal! <laughs> I mean, you can talk to your client in the uh, courtroom, that's allowed. <laughs> client isn't supposed to handhold through the trial though yeah but we'd be technically she'd be like kind of whispering so you wouldn't know yeah. the prosecution's witnesses all hide things from the court which means they lie from time to time <laughs> all the time <laughs> 
Yes, they lie in court just consistently. This is normal. This is forget perjury. They just lie. Lie. Well, swearing oath means nothing around here. But isn't that detective your superior? Well, even if they don't mean to lie, sometimes people just remember things that's wrong. That's not. That's not lying. That. That that's not lying now. That that's not how this works. <laughs> lying by omission, sir. No, no. Lying by omission is different. Lying by omission incorrect. implies oh, intent. Oh, I know it is. Intent. I just couldn't. I couldn't think of what else it would be. It's being so wrong. Why. It's just being, being wrong. mistaken. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like I was. Like that detective. True. He does look sort of like a scatterbrain. Oh, who's you? It doesn't matter. Either way, it's bad for us, sir. Yeah. <laughs> That's why, when you question witnesses, you have to find and expose their lie. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Uh, y y yes, Your Honor. I totally can do this. Talk about trial by fire. Here goes nothing. As long as I can expose the incorrect or lies, we should be all right. <laughs> I don't think Gumshoe could the lie if he wanted info. to. He really couldn't. Gumshoe's just wrong. Look at that puppy dog face. It, it can't lie. Okay. It really can't. We're pressing everything. Um, about those glasses. Do you have any proof that those belong to my client? The lens is of a nearsightedness and are almost the same strength as hers. Almost. Oh, that's unfortunate. Even the frames look kind of like the one she's wearing in her ID pal. Okay, the next Not time decisive. someone says almost on the freaking glasses thing, that's just wrong. The spares are the ones that would be slightly off, not the true ones that she was actually wearing. Have you ever worn bad glasses? A, a lot, almost your prescription glasses? Pain. I'm literally wearing them right now. It's horrible. Yeah, horrible. Tap, hold it. Uh, th this feels right. Almost, kinda, are not good enough in a case like this. Yeah. Do you have more definitive proof? Is there something that clearly links the defendant with those glasses? Uh, the dirt and sand rubbed out any traces of fingerprints or anything else, so, uh... So what you're saying, Detective Tap, is that you have nothing that proves that those glasses are my clients. Uh... <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> mm, I see. Hmm. So there is no problem. Ah. <laughs> wow, that was amazing! This is the phoniest. I could totally feel it down in my gut. Fifty percent of this, a little less than fifty percent of this room are wearing glasses right now. Alrighty, press. Hold it. So you're sure he was pushed, and that's how he fell? Yeah, pal. If you look at the wounds on the victim's body, there's no way it was anything else. Hmm. Please continue with your testimony, detective. Anyway, the victim fell pretty far. Yeah, this this is sus as hell. Yeah, Hold it! The, the culprit's <laughs> name? Yeah, I was surprised too. I didn't want to believe it, but... Was th the name of... Oh god, I forgot how to talk! Was the name that of my client? This is a weird well, way to say that. Well, in the head. <laughs> Yeah, I love doing this. It just feels right. Uh, are you absolutely certain? Sorry, pal. That's what it said. This is a picture of it. No matter which way you look, it still says Maggie. Unless you look, like, obviously upside down. <laughs> in which case, it says Iagama. But... <laughs> he does got a point. It does look like Iagama. Mmm. <laughs> hey, hold on. Huh? Don't harm me. I know the picture says Maggie, but... Now that she meant... Me, me, the per. Now that she mentions it, something does feel kind of off about this picture. Yagama could be someone else's name. They really did clock you over the head pretty good, didn't they? Yeah. That's how you know you found a contradiction. Now hurry up and present some evidence. Did we find a contradiction? I feel like I didn't find a contradiction that the game counts as a contradiction, if, I, if I'm being honest. But... So that's what a splat. contradiction feels like. What about a splat? He died of a splat. He couldn't have wrote out a okay. name. Okay, is that... Is that what we're going with? That's what I'm feeling, but does the game That's know that? That's what I'm going with! We hope you enjoyed watching this episode of the Arcade Cabinet. Join us! We're live on PM Eastern, Twitch, and YouTube. If you like what you've seen so far, consider giving us a like and subscribe for more content and chaos. See, See you next time. time! And Meowth, that's right! No. <laughs> <laughs>